Hello, good evening. So today I'm going to be having a data analysis section with you guys using the SAS software. And this video is basically for SAS beginners. So let me go ahead and share my screen. So here's my screen and these I'm really working with actual data because I'm trying to analyze data for my dissertation. So let's get a new page to start our data, to start this data analysis section. So you go to new on the left hand side of your SaaS software you see and you click it new then if you're importing data you click on import data if you already have your data excel spreadsheet but if you don't you want to put it manually on the software you just click on sas program you click this and it creates a new page you see the blank page so this is it so let's start for beginning so you start by saying data and you call your data any name. So let me say that I call my data, my data, any name, let me say, you call it any name, that's it. So whatever the data you're doing, you call the name, that's, that's what you're going to do. So you put your semicolon, do not forget to put a semicolon. If you don't, when you run the data, it's gonna show error. So we go down, and you type in inputs because you want to put in your variables. So inputs comes with variable. So let me say I'm, in, I'm using um, two, three participants. So with their names, let me click names. Normally we're not supposed to have names on data. You're supposed to create ID for them. But let me just use name to make this easier for you to understand. So name, since name is a categorical data, we're going to put a dollar sign because it's not numeric. Then we have age. We're not gonna put a dollar sign because age is numeric. It's a numeric variable. Then we'll look at education level. Let's say edu level. I don't need to spell it out. Let's say edu level, which is education level. Then other variable will be, okay, we're looking at, okay, let's look at, we're looking at uh, high blood pressure among males. So we're using education level and age. So let's use high blood pressure. So we can do high, high blood pressure, let's say high BP. So high blood pressure numbers. So since high blood pressure is numeric, the numbers are numeric, we don't need to put a dollar sign at the front. Then we'll put our column. So we're working with how many variables? One, two, three, four. So four variables. So if we analyze this data, we should have four variables on our log. Then you click on, you type in cards and you put your what? Semicolon. So cards mean you want to impute your data now. So the name, let's say we have Peter, which is our first participant. Peter, then our second participant, let's say Adrian, then our third participant should be who? Let's say John. John is our third participant. So for John, let's say John age, make sure you use your space. Do not use tab, you won't get your roles. So we use a space. His age is what? Let's give John 40 years. Then let's give Adrian his space. Adrian is gonna be 50. Well, you see our colon with Peter and Adrian on age is not the same. So we have to shift the 40. So age needs to be on same column. Okay, so let's move to John. So John, we're gonna space space to the same column and let's give John 55 years of age. Then we go ahead, after age, what do we have? 
education level. So space, education level, let's say Peter is high school. So we put in high school. And Adrian, high school as well, we put in high school. Then John, let's say college. So college degree, so we can just say college. Then after that, we go to BP numbers. So for Peter, let's say Peter has IBP numbers, which is 160. Then for Adrian, let's say he has 155, which BP are I, is high blood pressure, because we know our normal blood pressure is 120 and below. So let's say John, John has the normal blood pressure numbers, 119. Then you enter with run. Remember to put your semicolon before you run your data. So we run, let's run this data. Good job. So when we run this data, this is our input. So let's come to the log. So the log should tell you that we're having what? Three observations. Three observations means right here is three, where my cursor is, is three observations and four variables. Three observations mean three participants, which is what we call here. So three, one, two, three. Then four variables is our the name, age, high school, and what sixty. So if this log is correct, there is this is there is no error. So you're good to go. So we have that. So this is our data. We got that and our observations are good. And this is our output and this is what it looks like. So we wanna run frequency to know how many number of participants have high blood pressure and how many does not have blood pressure. With this, you can know that two participants have high blood pressure. So let's run. So you do proc freak. Frick. Frick. That is a frequency. Frick, frick, and you put in the data. Frick, frick equals to frig. You put a semicolon and you run. Okay. So proc freak data equals to preg. So proc freak will want to see frequency. Then you say data preg, which is this right here. You bring it down here. That is what it looks like. Put any different data name, you're going to have error. Then we run this. So we got our data. So like I said, frequency table, we'll see uh, our frequency. So I blood pressure, this is what our frequency table looks like. So you run your data and this is the result. So this is the result you have for your data. So you can see that for high blood pressure numbers, 119 come out once. So if you want to see that you want to have, because I put 119 as one, so it's the same thing. So let me say we'll go back to the code and say, high blood pressure, we have uh, 160. Let me pull, I'm going to pull 160 here. So I have blood pressure numbers 160. So education level, high school, high school and we have college. So I'm gonna run this. Run. Okay. 
so you see because we have for high blood pressure we have two people which is we had two people who had 160 so the frequency is what's two yeah 119 is one person so we have one person that's for our frequency for high blood pressure then our frequency for age, because they all have different age. So 40 was only one person, 50 was only one person, 55, it was just one person. So that's, that is for age. And uh, for frequency for name, we didn't have any name that come out twice. So it's one, one person age. And then for frequency for education level. So we're gonna go back, see why it's showing a frequency for education level. Uh, Missing, so now we come back here. So we need to put since education level, you see why it didn't come up because education level is uh, a categorical data and I didn't put the dollar sign. So since education, then you're not gonna get your, 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 your variables are going to be missing if you didn't put your dollar sign. Just like the name, I put a dollar sign because it is a categorical data. So your age, no dollar sign in front because it's numeric data. Your education level should be what? A categorical data and it should have a dollar sign in front. So now let's run it. We're going to have our data. Go back and run. First, let's run this data first. Run this to have it. Then let's go and run our proc freak. Proc freak. Run. Yay. So we got our education level, you see? So whenever you're using a categorical sign, make sure you put it categorical variable. Make sure you put a dollar sign in front because it's not numeric. So our education level, we have one person, frequency one person. And uh, for high school, we have two people. We have two person for high school. So right now, if you want to run your data and you want to see if education level have an impact in high blood pressure. Because on this data, we can see Peter has a law, uh, high school degree, and Adrian has a high school degree, and their blood levels are high. So if we want to check if education level, okay, now we run a proc freak to know the frequency, we can go ahead and run, run proc means. Proc means data equals to. Craig. Okay. So data equals the break, then we run. You can pull crops log, you can pull lowercase, it's fine. Okay, so definitely I'm not making something error. For that not to work. See, I purposely make this error. Why? Because there is no semicolon in front of preg. So these are the little mistakes you don't want to make when you're data. So let's go ahead and run it again. Good. So this is our what? Our main procedures. So this procedure you see age, the number, we have three people that high blood pressure we have three three people definitely who reported high blood pressure then our means which goes on with our age and you see the standard deviation the minimum and the mass so this is what you do go back to code so this is for beginners if you want to run your data if you want to use the prog freak you did pro freak and you get your frequency table and you do proc means and you get your means table. 
And my next video, we're going to be showing how to control for age, control for high school. So basically we'll be running a uh, chi square in order to control for age. If you want to see the impact of age and high blood pressure, or you want to see the relationship between having a low uh, high school, having a low education level, uh, it's related to having high blood pressure. So this is what we're going to do on my next video. So stay tuned for my next post on uh, data analysis using SAS. Stop sharing.